Hi, uh, Josh Carr here. After last week's video, I got a couple questions about contributing money and doing daily calculations. You know, if you tell people you're going to give them a certain rate of return on their money and you're paying them not per month or per year, but per day, that's one set of issues because you got to figure out a daily rate of return and you know, whether or not I pay you in 50 days, I'm going to pay you a different amount of money than if I pay you in, say, 60 days. That's all fine and good. Where people get a little tripped up, though, is what if instead of us saying we're going to pay you a certain amount of money in 50 days and we're going to pay everyone the same amount of money in 50 days, what if we contributed money at different times? So, for example, what if we have five parties who have to contribute, say, $24 million dollars? But instead of putting in all $24 million at one day, some people put in money in these four periods. One person puts in money here. One person puts in money there. They put in more money there. In other words, five people putting in different amounts of money on six different dates. How do I handle this? What you would do is really not that hard. What you'd basically do is you'd say, what is the final date that we got all the money? That's basically when we're going to grow everything from. So if I'm going to pay back everyone, say, all their money at, say, a 10% rate of return, then we would say, well, that's the date we start from. We then look at each value, each date, and each dollar amount and say, how many days before, in this case, June 26, 2018, um, did, was that money put in? Like this money here was put in 131 days before. This money here was put in 326 days. We then figure out the daily rate of return. And that's basically taking the 10%, converting it into a daily rate of return. That's a little bit of compounding math for you. So it's not just dividing by 365. It's compounding by 365. And what we do is we say, well, it's all fine and good that we put in 24 million, but since we put in at different times, effectively we put in 24.2 because the money was compounding at a daily rate. That accrued contribution calculation is essentially saying, look at each value, figure out how many days before June 26, 2018, the money went in, and compound accordingly. So a million dollars times one plus the daily rate to the power of day num power of the number of days, and I do it for the first column, and the second column, and the third column. You get the idea. We find out then while we were supposed to put in money, say ten percent for this first party, and ninety percent for everyone else, we really put in. 10.56 and a little under 90% for everyone else. Which then means when we're doing all the partnership math, when we're paying back everyone their capital and preferred return, we pay that back at 10.56 and 89.44 because those were the ratios, those are the values that we contributed the money at. But later on, once we've paid that back and we're figuring out later on, how do we split the extra money? Well, then we go back to 90-10. So again, simply put, we have a daily rate. We look at the money being contributed. We compound it based on the number of days before the start of the analysis, which means that $24 million from these people is really more like 24.2. We see each person's percentage of the pie. It'll vary because again, different people put in money at different times. We then pay them their capital and preferred return based on those percentages. And then if there is, as in this case, once you give everyone 10% on their money, one of the parties will get a 20% promote that party gets a 20% promote. And then all the other money, the other 80% of the money would be split based on the original membership interests. Um, that's the basic idea. 
I realize for some of you, this is way over your head. Um, thankfully, I have videos on different topics, but this hopefully explains the basics of people contribute money at different times and how do we figure out effectively what everyone put in. And the secret sauce, if you will, again, just to say it one more time, is you figure out when did the money go in for each person, how many days before the final start date, if you will, that the money went put, got put in, and what's that daily rate of return. And that gives you your accrued contributions. That's it. So hopefully for the few people who asked that question, this gives an answer. And for the rest of you, thankfully, I have both harder and easier topics on my feed. Uh, if you have interesting ideas that you need answers to, feel free to email me at josh at kahrrealestate.com. Check out my website at carrealestate.com. Um, and until I see you again, keep building better models. Thanks again. Bye.